welcome back to my channel also. Welcome if you are new. My name is Anna and this is At Home with Anna. So today we are doing a fun project. We are here upstairs in my home and this is the landing area right when you come upstairs. We're going to be decorating it. I have a piece of furniture that was damaged when it arrived and Wayfair told me to keep it. So I'm going to do my best <laughs> with what I have to repair it so that I can use it here because other than the two corners of it, it is in perfect condition and I do not want it to go to waste. I also have a mirror that I'm going to be putting above here, but I didn't want just a plain Jane mirror. I wanted something that was really striking when you walked up the stairs. So <laughs> I'm trying my hand at something and I'm really hoping that it comes out the way I'm envisioning it. But before we get too far into the video, I want to let you know that this is a collaboration with my good friend Robin Lane Low here on YouTube. And I met Robin a few years ago here on YouTube and we just hit it off right away. We share a lot of the same content here on our channels. Robin is an empty nester just like me. She lives in Texas and loves to take care of her home for her husband and her family, just like I do. She has a great sense of style and a sweet, sweet personality. If you're enjoying the content I share here, then I am sure you're going to love Robin as much as I do. It's always a good time watching Robin, and I'm sure you're going to leave her videos inspired. I really enjoy channels that share everything. I love a variety, and that is exactly what you're going to get with Robin. She really loves to create content for YouTube, and I know that because she works full-time as well. So I appreciate the time that she gives us. I want to thank you, Robin. Robin so much for collabing with me today. If you're coming over from Robin's channel, welcome and thank you. I am so happy that you are here. I just love Robin so much. After you're done watching my video today, I hope that you jump over there, watch her video, subscribe, show her some love, tell her that I sent you over there. I just love her and your guys' support on both of our channels means the world to us. Decorating on a budget is not foreign to me. <laughs> when my husband and I first got married, we had a no money and um, I wanted a beautiful home. So I found ways to do that with very little money. I did garage selling, estate selling, I made furniture over. I did what I could do to make my home beautiful in my eyes. So I'm digging deep <laughs> into that part of me and I'm going to be using some of those techniques that I I learned back in the day in today's video. Anyways, we are going to be kind of jumping around because I'm doing two different things and today I'm going to be finishing both projects but I'm going to take you back in time and the next video clips on when, what I've done to the cabinet so far and what I've done to the mirror so far and then we will move back to present day so that we can complete this project. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're in the garage and I have the piece of furniture here on a tarp. I found this wood putty. Um, so I'm gonna try and just kind of rebuild the corners, like take out the wood and rebuild it. So anyways, we're gonna give this a shot and see what we can do, but I'm gonna give it a good wipe down first. Those. There, there we go. I can't find my straight blade to cut this out, so I'm just gonna try and use my scissors. Um, I don't wanna take this part out, I just wanna take this loose stuff off. Maybe I don't even need scissors. And then this side. A little loose right there. But after I get this built up, maybe I can just add, we have wood glue. I'll just do some wood glue in there to hold that. Okay, this isn't gonna dry. This isn't gonna work. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. I'm gonna use good old joint compound.
I think that's gonna work just fine. Added water to it just to make it more um, uh, pliable or moldable, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. Let's let this dry. And then I promise you, once I sand it all, remember these are gonna be back towards the wall, but once I sand it all and paint it, you're never gonna be able to tell. So, I have had Ernie bring the table up, obviously, for me. I'm gonna finish getting it ready to paint um, up here. And I was going out and looking for knobs for it, but I thought, nope, I wanna try and do this as budget-friendly as possible. I want it to be, the cheapest project I can do. I wanna make sure that I don't spend hardly any money. When you buy a new home and you have lots of areas to decorate, and you guys saw the uh, makeover of the guest room, that cost me $1,100 or just under there or something like that. Um, and so that was a lot of money to spend, which I needed the guest room and I did use a lot of things already that I had, but I really want to try <clears throat> and thrift and go to consignment stores and use what I already have to finish decorating this upstairs and any other areas of my house actually. So with that said, we are going to decorate to this area. Now I do have a fun project we're gonna do for this area. I've been looking at really opulent um, gold mirrors. I just want something that's really striking when you walk up the stairs but they're so expensive and I haven't found anything at any of the thrift stores that I've been to. And I keep going back to the consignment store that I found, which is amazing. Um, they have consignment, they have new, they have Amish, and sometimes the model homes drop off their stuff there. So um, if you're not there <laughs> when the good stuff gets there, then you miss out. So I've been trying to go as often as possible and I've just not had any luck with what I want for here. So I thought, why not make it? So we are gonna be doing that today as well. And I do believe it's a project that it's super affordable. It can be done on a mirror or um, a frame or something that you already own in your home. And um, it's a fun project. So anyways, I'm not buying any paint for this project here. I have a bunch of sample paints. I think I have six in total, maybe seven, um, because I've been buying samples for my bedroom. And I'm gonna um, play with some of those paints and see if I can come up with a really pretty color that I like to paint the cabinet. And then instead of buying the knobs new, I bought some spray paint so we can spray paint those to match the mirror and um, I think the whole area will come together. And then when we're all done getting that painted and the mirror decorated and all that kind of stuff, then I will come in with my, go into my home decor room and see what I can find to kind of dress the area up. So anyways, let me show you what we're gonna be doing. So this is real life. <laughs> I just went to go get this put on top of the um, tarp to paint and I knocked that loose corner off right here up against the wall. Oh my goodness, I haven't painted in here yet, thankfully, so I'm not stressed out about it. <laughs> but um, now I have to rebuild that corner and we have to let it dry. That, you know, it's not, maybe I need to build up a little bit over here still. These are the back corners <clears throat> and it's gonna go right there. It's going to go at the top of the stairs, so when you're coming up to the top landing of the stairs, it's going to be sitting right there, and those are going to be in the back. Everything else is beautiful, and it still has a tag on it. It's perfect. So I'm not super concerned about this. Um, I just want to make it so that there's a corner. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and fill this out. It shouldn't take long for it to dry and fill this out and um, wait for that to dry and then we'll come in and sand and start painting. Um, so I'm gonna do that and then that actually works out perfect because then we can start on the other project that I have for the mirror because it's gonna take a minute. <laughs> okay, this is the mirror that I have to work with and it's beautiful by itself, but it's not the look that I'm going for. I am going to, I bought these cookie mold or candy molds, whatever they are. And I bought some roses and some leaves. So we're going to be mixing up some 
plaster of Paris and making several of these probably four times over. It only takes 30 minutes to dry. And then we're going to be gluing them on with the E6000. And I bought a couple of different colors of paint. I got this bronze bronzer. It's like in a metallic. And then I bought some rub and buff. So we're going to be trying our hand at those. Um, I got some wax paper out here to set my um, my candy molds, <laughs> my plaster of Paris molds on when they're done. And then I brought a little bowl, some water, some cornstarch, because I'm going to use the cornstarch to dust the inside of these so that nothing sticks. And some painters mixers. So, And I got some brushes. Um, one which I'll use to dust these with the um, cornstarch and then um, the others to maybe use on the rub and buff. I don't know. I don't know. I've never done this before. You guys are doing it with me all together. <laughs> we're doing it for the first time together, but um, anyways, so we're going to take care of this and I am hoping that this mirror just turns out so beautiful. I figured I'd go ahead and speed this up and talk through this portion of the video, although I was talking to you while I was filming it. <laughs> it just takes too long. So basically you just get candy molds, any mold you want for whatever project you want. I wish I would have found different kinds of leaves. These are some regular leaves and oak leaves and um, I don't even know what, but I didn't care because it's all going to look beautiful in the end. You have to trust the process with this because it doesn't look like much, I promise, <laughs> once you get going. Um, but all you're doing is mixing um, up the plaster of Paris with some water, and you're mixing it to a cake batter, to a cake batter consistency. And I also found that this was an unnecessary step that I took with the cornstarch. Didn't need to do that. I was using silicone. The plaster of Paris molds popped out just fine. So I only did it on the first round. Um, I just found that it was unnecessary. So skip this step if you're going to do it. Anyway, so I had seen um, some videos on this and there are so many projects you can use these molds for. You can make these little plaster molds for a dresser, for um, like I said, a mirror like I'm doing, or a frame, or just anything, really, you guys, a piece of furniture. Um, I also found that I was when I made them, they came out really thick, which is fine. I don't mind that. But as I was going, I decided that I wanted um, some thinner ones. So as I was making the molds, so they only take 30 minutes to dry. So once I filled these up, they dried in 30 minutes, and then I did it. I repeated it a few times. Um, anyways, they, I, I wasn't filling all of them up all the way in the second and um, third and fourth time. <laughs> um, and that is because I figured I had a double level, I didn't have like a flat surface that I was laying these on. So I was going to want some that were thinner and some that were thicker. So keep that in mind. You know, it doesn't really matter. I could have done them all the same size. It really doesn't matter. Um, but all I'm doing is going ahead and filling these up. Very simple. I didn't mix up enough, so I had to mix up more. <laughs> um, I got smart after I did it in this bowl, and it dries just as fast as the molds do. So that was fun, cleaning this bowl out. I had to use a hammer to crack it. Um, but I, I went ahead and used some solo cups afterwards and it was a much uh, better way to do it. So just mixed it up in a solo cup and it was easier to pour as well. So anyways, you're going to fill up the molds. You're going to let them dry for 30 minutes and you're going to pop them out and they're going to be gorgeous. I realized I forgot to welcome anybody that is stopping over from Robin's page. I want to say thank you so much for joining us today over here at At Home with Anna. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you like this type of content, I hope you plan on subscribing and sticking around. I would love to have you guys.
guys, the corners have completely dried now. It's been a couple of hours. Okay guys, I think the cabinet is finally ready to be painted. I got the corners rebuilt and they look good. Okay guys, so we are going to decide what color we want to paint this cabinet. I've already taken the, uh, the, hand, the knobs off. I have a bunch of these I mentioned before and I don't think one of these is going to do the trick. <laughs> So I think I'm going to have to use one and then mix it with, I have the, uh, this is the alabaster. I have a sample of the alabaster and I have all of these different colors. So I'm just going to play with it and see what I come up with. You can go out and buy your own colors if you want, but, um, I'm trying to do this as budget friendly as possible. I have the paint, so why not? I'm gonna go ahead and mix. Um, so this is the color that I had tried out in my bedroom um, and said that I, it's the Gray Owl by Benjamin Moore and I said that this would be a beautiful cabinet color. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here. I have the alabaster, so I'm going to add a little bit of alabaster to that, and I'm going to give that a stir, see what we come up with. It'll just be a lighter version of the Gray Owl, it's pretty, very pretty. What do you guys think? It's almost white. It's like really creamy. You guys have to let me know in the comments what you think, but let's get it all painted out and see. We are making some great progress on our items for our makeover up here in the landing. Make sure to stay tuned till the end, you guys. It turns out beautiful. For miles in spring, rainbow trout and hummingbird wing. Golden, I'll follow you. One of my favorite things about doing an extreme budget makeover or decorating an area on extreme budget or for as little as money as possible is the outcome. Whenever I go and I look at a spot or an area that I've done on, you know, a, a real budget and it's beautiful, it's eye catching and something that I love, it just makes me so proud. It's not anything that I will ever, I don't care if I made a million dollars a month. <laughs> this is something that I truly love to do. I think that if you're able to afford to buy new furniture all the time, go for it. That's great. But nothing gives you more satisfaction and more gratitude when you're able to create something and love something for your home. Okay, I got the first coat on there, and it's looking really good, you guys. Now do you see the corners? Because they're painted, you can't even tell. Now, of course, if you were going to leave your wood top, uh, you know, natural, you'd want to do it the right way. But um, because I was painting it, I did it the cheap way used what I had on hand and I'm an expert at that <laughs> because that's what I used to have to do back in the olden days 
and I love it. I get the same, um, I get the same outcome just with a lot less money. But I think it's going to be beautiful. It's a beautiful color. So we'll let this dry. I'm going to go around and make sure there aren't any drip marks. I'm going to put my brush in the refrigerator while we wait for this to dry and then we'll come back and do a second coat. Okay guys, so we are going to start working on the mirror while the table is drying. So I think what I'm going to do is, the, my little cast, they look so good and they've had overnight to cure. So I think I'm just gonna, I don't know if I wanna do like the whole mirror, like all the way around the mirror. We're gonna paint the whole thing one color once we're done, like all of this. So it's gonna look kind of funky at first, but then I was thinking, what if I just did like a couple of brow designs? Do like a, a brow here and like a brow here. I think I'm just gonna start placing them and we'll go from there. This is definitely one of those projects where you have to trust the process because I was second guessing it all along this part. I wasn't really sure where to stop. I knew that I didn't want it super ornate and I didn't want to go all the way around. So I was playing around with different designs and in the end, you'll see what I ended up doing. Um, it turns out beautiful. I want to encourage you to try something like this. It was so much fun. This would be so much fun for kids too. Um, but you could do this on furniture. You could do this on frames. You could do this on so many different things. And you can use a theme with it, you know, like you can get the candy molds for like, you know, seashells and that kind of thing. If you have like a, a you know, a sea home, like that kind of decor. But I want to encourage you to try something like this because it was so much fun and it was so gratifying when it was done. <laughs> thousand takes about 24 hours to cure so I didn't want to um, you know try and paint it on the same day so I went ahead and just did what I was gonna do and you guys will see how I ended up doing that um, when we go to paint it um, but we needed to get a second coat put on this cabinet so I just took advantage of that and then I was done for the day so I got the mirror all detailed out and I got the cabinet all painted and um, next we are going to um, get back to the mirror. I know there's a lot of jumping around, but when you have two projects that require painting <laughs> and crafting, um, it does sometimes takes a while, but it's such a fun way to um, decorate your home is to put this kind of effort into pieces and put this kind of effort and time into the space. It just, I don't know, you appreciate it so much more when you, you know, every time I come walking up the stairs and I see this, I'm going to remember this week, you know, that it took me to do these projects and um, I'm really going to enjoy it. And I'm also going to love the fact that I didn't spend a lot of money on it. <laughs> so um, anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Okay, guys, these are the knobs that came with that cabinet. And they're not bad. I just don't. So the backstory is, is I have two of the same exact cabinet downstairs. It's a whole story. They all came damaged. <laughs> um, and um, I, I'm trying to make this one over so it doesn't look like the ones downstairs. You see what I'm saying? So anyways, these are not bad. But I bought some Rub and Buff. And I want to see if... I can change the look with just this. This tube, this little tiny tube covers over 20 square feet. So I'm guessing a little goes a long way. I'm over here wondering what else I can use that rub and buff on. <laughs> I use it later here on the mirror, but that stuff was fun. And I was right, a little, goes a long way. So that tube will last you forever. I kid you not. So now we've moved on to the mirror. Um, We're giving it a coat of white paint. So I'm just using the same exact paint that I used for the um, cabinet. And had I, ha if I had to do this over again, I would have painted the mirror first because it was really hard to get inside the little crevices. I was just like stamping it like dabbing it to get inside but I would I would have painted the mirror first and 
Um, you know, if I was going to spend money, again, I was trying to do this with colors I already had, paint I already had, I would have bought spray paint. I think spray paint um, would be easier. That's just, you know, I'm just telling you in case you're going to do it and you want to spend the money. Um, I'm, but anyways, and I didn't protect the mirror when I was painting and I should have. So I had a mess to clean up, but I got it all taken care of. It's all good. Um, but that is the, the um, first step before you get to the colorful painting. And that is what we are going to be doing next. Trust the process. So I have my paints here and my paint brushes. And I've brought a water bottle, a spray bottle. I'm going to water down the colors. Our paint is dry now, so we have it all painted white. I'm just going to take some of the paint and um, brush it on to the flowers and just water it down and just kind of play with it until I get it the way I like it. So. I want to encourage you if you decide to do a project like this is to just have fun with your paint everything can be changed everything can be painted over white again there's no wrong way no right way I was just playing with the color I wasn't really sure exactly the look I was going for I mean I had an idea in my head but I really wasn't sure how to achieve that so I was just going in with the different colors and dabbing and you know dipping my uh, brush in water, going back over the paint, spraying it with water. I was just really playing with the paint colors and I got it to where I thought I really liked it. And so what happened was I ended up walking out of the room and letting this dry because I knew that I did, I did want to come in with the rub and buff and highlight like the um, higher areas, just like highlight the florals and the leaves. Um, so I needed the paint to be completely dry, and it dries really quickly, um, FYI. But um, when I walked in, I was like, whoa, <laughs> this is a little bit too vibrant for me. It would work beautiful in, you know, somebody else's home. It just was not the look I was going for in that landing. Now, I know I did mention that I wanted a mirror that was striking, and this would have been completely striking when you walked up um, to the top of the stairs, but I didn't want it to be loud. <laughs> I wanted it to be striking in its own right but just not super loud and so what I decided to do was take the color vanilla which came in my packet of acrylic paints and I brushed it over the entire thing again um, off camera you guys didn't see me do that and um, and it what it did was it just mellowed all of the colors out so you could still see the colors peeking through but they were very very faint and once I did that I was like ah that is exactly what I wanted. So I don't know if I could have achieved the exact look had I done it differently. I think this is the exact process that I needed to go through in order to get the look I wanted. It was a happy accident. And then when I went to go put on the rub and buff, I was even more surprised because it was a happy accident there too. I really wasn't sure you know, what areas of the leaves and the flowers did I want to, um, you know, hit with that. And so what I did was I put some on and I was a little heavy handed. So I took my rag and I went to go wipe it off and boom, I got the look that I wanted. So it was a real happy accident. <laughs> so anyways, we're just going to finish painting out these, um, these, you know, flowers and these roses and, um, or roses and leaves and then we're gonna come you know go into the next you'll see you'll see how it all comes out I um, I just wanted to jump on here and just say if you decide to do a project like this just really have fun with it you know like it would be beautiful all painted it would have been beautiful painted just all white and hit it with the gold it would have been beautiful painted all gold it would have been beautiful painted all black it would have been beautiful anyway I've done it or it would have done it. It would just be beautiful. So um, I want to encourage you to try this project. Um, I think it was the fun project, the funnest project that I've ever done. 
um, because it really brought out my artistic side. So there you go. So here's where I started going over it with the vanilla. It actually gets a lot lighter, and you guys are going to see that in just a minute. Um, but you can kind of see how it's just really mellowing the colors out. And I, as I was doing this, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, this is more in the direction of where I wanted to go. Although I'm not saying that I think that it's pretty. I guess beauty is in the eye of the beholder. It's pretty the way it is. Um, but it was, like I said, just too just too vibrant and I just needed it to chill a little bit, I guess. And so that is right here. This is where I'm showing you how the color is just peeking through just so gently. It's not super vibrant. It's just like super chill. And you'll see when I get it up on the wall um, right now, it's even more of a better, it gives you a better idea of what it really looks like. It's so pretty, you guys. I just am in, so in love with this. So now, now that I got it up, I decided to get it up first before I went over it with the um, rub and buff because I really wanted to make sure to hit the areas that I wanted. And like I said, it ended up being a happy accident on how it turned out. I was just really heavy handed because I really wasn't sure. And I ended up um, just going over it with the rag. And as soon as I pulled it off with the rag and it rubbed kind of against the whole, it antiqued it. It just... Oh, I'll give you guys a close-up in a minute, but it just turned out so beautiful. today to make over a space in your home that you've been wanting to do and do it with little or no money using things and techniques I showed you today. Remember paint can be changed, DIYs can be redone. The most important part of tackling something like this is you did it with your two hands and you showed your home some love. That is my favorite part of doing these types of videos. I want to thank you all so much for watching today and stay until the end. I appreciate you so much and we will see you in the next video. Bye!